Proline symbol pro or P, is a proteinogenic amino acid that is used in the biosynthesis of proteins. It contains an alpha amino group which is in the protonated NH2 form under biological conditions, an alpha carboxylic acid group which is in the deprotonated minus COO minus form under biological conditions, and a side chain pyrrolidine, classifying it as a nonpolar at physiological pH, aliphatic amino acid. It is non-essential in humans, meaning the body can synthesize it from the non-essential amino acid L-glutamate. It is encoded by all the codons starting CC, CCU, CCC, CCA, and CCG. Proline is the only proteinogenic amino acid with a secondary amine, in that the alpha amino group is attached directly to the main chain, making the alpha carbon a direct substituent of the side chain. History and etymology Proline was first isolated in 1900 by Richard Willstatter who obtained the amino acid while studying N-methylproline. The year after Emil Fischer published the synthesis of proline from thalamide propylmalonic ester. The name proline comes from pyrrolidine, one of its constituents. Biosynthesis <inaudible> 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 Proline is biosynthetically derived from the amino acid L-glutamate. Glutamate 5 semialdehyde is first formed by glutamate 5 kinase ATP dependent and glutamate 5 semialdehyde dehydrogenase which requires NADH or NADPH. This can then either spontaneously cyclize to form 1-pyrrolin-5-carboxylic acid, which is reduced to proline by pyrrolin-5-carboxylate reductase using NADH or NADPH, or turned into ornithine by ornithine aminotransferase, followed by cyclization by ornithine cyclodiaminase to form proline. Biological <inaudible> <inaudible> activity <inaudible> L-proline has been found to act as a weak agonist of the glycine receptor and of both NMDA and non-NMDA AMPA kinate ionotropic glutamate receptors. It has been proposed to be a potential endogenous excitotoxin. In plants, proline accumulation is a common physiological response to various stresses but is also part of the developmental program in generative tissues e.g. pollen. Topic: <laughs> Properties in protein structure. The distinctive cyclic structure of proline's side chain gives proline an exceptional conformational rigidity compared to other amino acids. It also affects the rate of peptide bond formation between proline and other amino acids. When proline is bound as an amide in a peptide bond, its nitrogen is not bound to any hydrogen, meaning it cannot act as a hydrogen bond donor, but can be a hydrogen bond acceptor. Peptide bond formation with incoming protonopro is considerably slower than with any other tRNAs, which is a general feature of N-alkylamino acids. Peptide bond formation is also slow between an incoming tRNA and a chain ending in proline, with the creation of proline-proline bonds slowest of all. The exceptional conformational rigidity of proline affects the secondary structure of proteins near a proline residue and may account for proline's higher prevalence in the proteins of thermophilic organisms. Protein secondary structure can be described in terms of the dihedral angles phi, psi and omega of the protein backbone. The cyclic structure of proline's side chain locks the angle phi at approximately minus 65 degrees. Proline acts as a structural disruptor in the middle of regular secondary structure elements such as alpha helices and beta sheets. However, proline is commonly found as the first residue of an alpha helix and also in the edge strands of beta sheets. Proline is also commonly found in turns, another kind of secondary structure, and aids in the formation of beta turns. This may account for the curious fact that proline is usually solvent exposed, despite having a completely aliphatic side chain. Multiple prolines and or hydroxyprolines in a row can create a polyproline helix, the predominant secondary structure in collagen. The hydroxylation of proline by prolyl hydroxylase or other additions of electron withdrawing substituents such as fluorine increases the conformational stability of collagen significantly. Hence, the hydroxylation of proline is a critical biochemical process for maintaining the connective tissue of higher organisms. Severe diseases such as scurvy can result from defects in this hydroxylation, e.g., mutations in the enzyme prolyl hydroxylase or lack of the necessary ascorbate vitamin C cofactor. Cis-trans isomerization 
Peptide bonds to proline, and to other N-substituted amino acids such as sarcosine, are able to populate both the cis and trans isomers. Most peptide bonds overwhelmingly adopt the trans isomer typically 99.9% .9 under unstrained conditions, chiefly because the amide hydrogen trans isomer offers less steric repulsion to the preceding C-alpha atom than does the following C-alpha atom cis isomer. By contrast, the cis and trans isomers of the X-pro peptide bond where X represents any amino acid both experience steric clashes with the neighboring substitution and have a much lower energy difference. Hence, the fraction of X-pro peptide bonds in the cis isomer under unstrained conditions is significantly elevated, with cis fractions typically in the range of 3 to 10%. However, these values depend on the preceding amino acid, with glee and aromatic residues yielding increased fractions of the cis isomer. Cis fractions up to 40% have been identified for aromatic pro-peptide bonds. From a kinetic standpoint, cis trans proline isomerization is a very slow process that can impede the progress of protein folding by trapping one or more proline residues crucial for folding in the non native isomer, especially when the native protein requires the cis isomer. This is because proline residues are exclusively synthesized in the ribosome as the trans isomer form. All organisms possess prolyl isomerase enzymes to catalyze this isomerization, and some bacteria have specialized prolyl isomerases associated with the ribosome. However, not all prolines are essential for folding, and protein folding may proceed at a normal rate despite having non-native conformers of many X-pro peptide bonds. Uses Proline and its derivatives are often used as asymmetric catalysts in proline organocatalysis reactions. The CBS reduction and proline catalyzed aldol condensation are prominent examples. In brewing, proteins rich in proline combine with polyphenols to produce haze turbidity. L proline is an osmoprotectant and therefore is used in many pharmaceutical, biotechnological applications. The growth medium used in plant tissue culture may be supplemented with proline. This can increase growth, perhaps because it helps the plant tolerate the stresses of tissue culture. For proline's role in the stress response of plants, see section Biological activity. Specialties Proline is one of the two amino acids that do not follow along with the typical Ramachandran plot, along with glycine. Due to the ring formation connected to the beta carbon, the psi and phi angles about the peptide bond have fewer allowable degrees of rotation. As a result, it is often found in turns of proteins as its free entropy delta S is not as comparatively large to other amino acids and thus in a folded form vs unfolded form, the change in entropy is smaller. Furthermore, proline is rarely found in alpha and beta structures as it would reduce the stability of such structures, because its side chain alpha N can only form one hydrogen bond. Additionally, proline is the only amino acid that does not form a blue-purple color when developed by spraying with ninhydrin for uses in chromatography. Proline, instead, produces an orange-yellow color. History Richard Willstatter synthesized proline by the reaction of sodium salt of diethylmalonate with 1,3-dibromopropane in 1900. In 1901, Hermann Emil Fischer isolated proline from casein and the decomposition products of gamma thalamidopropylmalonic ester. Topic: <laughs> Synthesis. Racemic proline can be synthesized from diethylmalonate and acrylonitrile. Topic: <laughs> See also. Hyperprolinemia Inborn error of metabolism Prolidase deficiency Polinol <laughs>